Hello and welcome to Civision Live Maps List Dashboards. I have a few things I'd like to cover in this particular video. Uh, so my objectives are to first give you a quick description of a list, uh, how to create a list. Uh, we've got to figure out how to add the objects to a list, whether that be through an explicit or membership rule. Uh, of course, there's a couple different formatting options that you may have. And then the all important, uh, how do you view your newly created list dashboard? Uh, basically, there's two ways, one through the Live Maps portal and the other through the SCOM console. So now the quick description of the list. The list is simply a listing of different SCOM objects. These can be computer objects, they can be websites, databases, pretty much any of the CIs that you have in your SCOM environment we can show on a list. Now, these uh, objects can be grouped by host or by class. By default, they're automatically grouped by class, but you can change that grouping. Uh, and then the nice thing that a list gives you is the way to filter by severity levels. So if you're looking at a listing of computers, basically you can say, hey, I want to just see my uh, red or critical objects. Now, how do you create a list? Well, lists are created through the Live Maps Authoring Console. There's a couple of different ways to start this. Um, in this particular one, I'm going to actually start in the Create List Wizard, uh, but you can also use the drop down to create a list. You can also start it by looking at the folder you want to create it in in your SCOM environment. Uh, so, for the beginning of this, we'll start with the Create List Wizard. So, first I click on the Create List Wizard. That brings up my new list wizard. First, general information, click Next. It will ask me where I'd like to store this particular list. I'm going to put this in the Live Maps folder which also means it will be stored in my Live Maps uh, Authoring MP. Now, of course, you have to have a name, so we'll name it. I'll call it my Training List Dashboard. Now, a couple options about making it visible to everybody, or one of the newly created options here is to copy the membership rules from an existing group. So if you have a group created in SCOM, you can simply copy over the membership uh, directly from that group. In this case, I'm not going to go through that option, so I'll click Next and then finally finished. Now at this point it's going to add the uh, dash list dashboard into SCOM so this takes it just a few moments and when it's done it will open up a newly created list. And now we have our newly created list. Of course it's blank so what do we need to do? We need to start adding objects into there. So that there's two ways that this can be done. First is through adding through explicit membership. That is all done with my components section. So uh, using the drop down, I'll get a listing of different components. Now we've kind of organized this for you uh, as far as an application and infrastructure. So if I click on one or the other, I'll see a different listing uh, of different objects. Now you may have already done this. So in this first case, I'm just going to add some demo perspective objects. So I'll grab a couple objects here. You can highlight one or multiple ones and simply drag and drop and add those objects onto your list. Pretty simple to do. If I had a custom class that I want to do, I can actually scroll down, click on custom class to look at all of the different classes and objects that you have in your SCOM environment. Now adding explicit members are great and it makes it simple, but what we're doing is we're referencing that object by its GUID uh, in the SCOM database and so it, it does require some maintenance as you go along. So a better way to do this if you want to create things and make it more dynamic is to do it by a membership rule. So to start this off, I can click on Add. That will bring up the Add Rule dialog box. Now it defaults to Windows Server, but you know I can start typing in the name of any class or I can hit the three dot button to find a class. So I'll leave it at Windows Server. And when I use the filtered expression, I can look at any of the property values of this particular class. So I'll use Display Name. I'll put keep it as Contains. And uh, I'll type in Unity, which is pretty much the name of my domain. So once I've typed that in, I can click on Add Expression, see my particular rule. Once I click on Show Matches, it'll return the objects that I'm going to place into my dashboard. And I can click on OK. You can see I've had added those objects, but let's say I want to add something else. So maybe I want the Operating System object. So now I can click on Add again. Start typing Windows Operating System as the class. If I click on my filtered expressions, then I can see the property values of those. But now, let's say I want to only grab certain ones off a hosted computer. So I can come down to Windows Computer, Display Name, 
contains, uh, maybe I just want to put uh, the one from SCOM. Add the expression, show match. It's only going to return the one in this case. And I can click on OK. And now I have this object in here. So you can add several rules to add the different objects. And by adding the rules, it becomes dynamic. Now, as new objects are discovered in your SCOM environment, if they match the rule, they automatically get added to the list. Now, there's a couple different formatting options. So these are grouped by class. I can also group these by host. So you can see that there are the different hosts. And this one actually shows the two objects together. Obviously, if I had other objects on that host, I would see more and more of them. Now you can also change the class default. So let's say the, the Windows operating system class, I would like to change its name. Uh, you have the different property values, so I could leave it at principal name and it'll show me the name of the computer. So now I show that, or maybe I want to go into the actual computer class, leave the uh, display name, but I also would like to see IP address. So now I get different values. Now this is view and tile format. I can do it in a list format. I can do it in you know details format. You can change how you want to show the particular, um, particular object. So these are a couple different formatting options. Now you can right click on objects and change the name and do a couple manual things also. There's a few other options that are available within this list. So, but once I'm done, you get the idea of how, how to do things now hopefully. And now I'm gonna save this particular list. Once it's saved, I'm pretty much done in the authoring console. So now we're on to the ways that you can view that list dashboard. So the, the primary way will be through the Live Maps portal. Um, I've already opened up the portal here. Uh, you, the simplest thing to do is to start typing, you know, the, the name of the dashboard. That will filter out the results and I can simply open that up. Now that it's open, you can see the different objects that I had in my list. Now I can scroll up and down depending on how many objects are here. I indicated that I can filter out the green objects and only show my reds and yellows in this case if I want to. Any alerts for these objects will be displayed up here so I can see the alerts here. I can also do filtering from this level to only filter out and see my reds. I can click on an alert. Now I can update resolution state, uh, give some owner ticket ID information. Now I can also interact with the individual objects. So a particular object I can right click on, I can open up in a, in a new tab if I want to, or click on and drill down into that one to go into what we call a managed entity page. I can start, stop maintenance mode, run tasks on that particular object. These would be your agent tasks. Uh, I can also open up a health explorer. That would show me kind of the same things I would see as far as recalculate, reset health states or change state data, things of that nature. The other way to view your Live Maps list is directly through the SCOM console. With the Operations Manager extensions, I can go to and find the folder that I saved it in and then click on it and open that dashboard up directly. Now within here I see the same thing I saw within the Live Maps portal. Again, I can filter out if I want to. I can also uh, right click on any object to open up a health explorer. You're, you're dealing directly with the objects itself. Any of the alerts are actually going to be shown down here. So I can see those alerts, close them out. Thank you for watching this training video. Hopefully you got something out of it. Uh, if you would like to know more, please contact Savision Sales or Savision Support at the information provided. And thank you very much.